So over here you can see that I have a video clip and let's say what I want to do is I want to do a small animation where the video clip moves from left to the right hand side. So in that case, I can utilize something called keyframes and to start using it, I'm going to go around and first on the filters area, I'm going to click on the plus button and over here on the video, I'm just going to go around and uh, work around with its transform setting. So I'm just going to go around over here and say, uh, let's say for example, position right here. And here you can see a size position and rotate option that you can click and apply over here. So you can go around and resize this right here and place it wherever you want. So now what I want is in the beginning, I want this, uh, uh, I want um, the video clip to start from here and end over here. So this is going to be the beginning state. And let's say the animation should start from around um, the second right here, the five second point right here. So once I do that, I can go around and then add in a keyframe to this. So if I were to move this, let's say, for example, move this, you can see the position right here. So let me just move uh, this around on to uh, the left side right here, just like this. And then I'm going to go around and click on the use keyframe for this parameter area. So now once you click on this little button right here, what happens is that you can see there is a keyframe applied to the size and position right here, just like this. And this is the keyframe that is applied right here. You can go around over here and drag uh, the, time, the timeline cursor out right here. And then if I were to click and drag this out on the other side, now there is another keyframe that is added out. So this is the position on, uh, let's say, the fi exact five seconds while this is the keyframe when uh, a bit of uh, time is apart. So if I were to go around and press the play button, then you can see the animation just like this. And you can go around and apply out keyframe in multiple um, uh, things over here. So here you can see that this is the keyframe that you have. And if I were to move this, uh, let's say in between just like this, there's a third keyframe which is added in and I can click and drag around and change the position of the keyframe over here as well so that the movement area changes. If I were to press the play button, you can see that it goes on the top and on the side now. So let's say what I also want to do is I want to um, add in different um, uh, keyframes over here on rotation. So on the rotation part, you can see a separate keyframe can be added in. And once I do that, you can see that another uh, keyframe area is here. So now I can go around over here and I can just go around and change around, let's say, for example, uh, the value right here. And you can see that it changes around the rotation. So if I were to go in the beginning and press the play button, you can see that it rotates around right here. So that is how you can add in keyframes to positions uh, so that you can um, simulate out movements uh, inside of your shortcut project. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.